EMS learners, welcome to this channel. My name is Paul. You know it, the EMS guy. Listen, so today as we started this trend of dad jokes, I've got another one for you. If we have a seagull that flies over the ocean and he changes his direction and flies over the bay, what do we call that bird? A bagel! <laughs> right! Uh, <laughs> so let's dig into our next video. It's going to be on forms of ownership and we're going to focus in on public companies. So make sure you hit like, subscribe. If you haven't watched the other videos, go hit them, go like them, go watch them. Make sure you understand because they're building on one another. It's important building phases. Let's do this. Entrepreneurs, I hope you enjoyed my joke. Here's another one. Look at this dude. What do you call a poor Santa Claus? No, 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 no. Saint Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> that jokes aside. Today we're continuing with our topic on public companies. I hope you watched my previous video on private companies because it gives a great introduction to this video, which is why I'm going to delve right into it. We have completed sole traders, partnerships, close corporations, private companies, and now we're doing the last one that we're ending as grade eights, which is public companies. Again, the terminology you need to know is what is capital, what's legal liability, limited, unlimited liability, what's a legal entity or personality, and the continuity. We need to know that. So let's look at a public company, a characteristics. This public company is so similar to a private company. You'll see everything links up except for one or two minor differences. So the ownership is public. The public can buy and sell their shares openly. There's a platform to do that. For example, if you want to transact on your FNB account or your parents, it's open. They've got a platform. With a public company, you have that platform to buy and sell shares. We call it the JSE, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, and only pri or public companies excuse me, can sell their shares on this platform. So uh, the public can buy and sell shares. There is unlimited continuity, which is an advantage. The owners are still called shareholders, and they do need a minimum of one shareholder. As we did in the previous video, here you can see the different type of people, different types of shares, and what do they get for their shares in return for their hard work? The reward is a dividend. That's their share in the profit. So they have to provide the capital, and then we said they can buy the shares on the JSE. This is the platform that, make, that allows for any foreign company even to buy shares in South African companies. Now there's these platforms over all the countries, different countries in the world. Um, Nasdaq is one of them. Um, that you can buy shares. So it's an important part to take note of. If you want to buy and sell shares, it's a good place to um, invest some additional capital. You have to share in the profit and losses of your business, which means if the business does not make profit and they make losses, you don't get dividends in that time. It all depends on the type of dividends you get. But overall, in a general share, there's no dividends that will be shared in a difficult time. So when COVID struck and businesses didn't make profit, those shareholders, the owners, didn't make money. They didn't make their dividends or got received dividends. There's a difference between the owners and the managers, right? If you pay a salary, that's not part of profit. Salaries are most expenses in accounting. That's what we've learned there. So important to differentiate between an owner and a worker or a manager or a director. All right, dividends are, dis uh, dividends are distributed to the shareholders and it depends on how many shares they have. Okay, if we look at the other set, it's this limited liability for debts. They need to have a minimum of three directors. That means there's three skilled people, highly skilled people that receive high salaries, but they work with the best of the best and therefore your business, it should boom. If you, get, if you invest into the best people, you will get the best results. A good example is Netflix. Good book to read is No Rules Rules. So I would highly recommend that. Directors manages the company and they make sure that it goes in the right direction. You need to register your public company with the CIPC, which is Companies Intellectual Property Commission. It's important to register and you also need to have a memorandum of incorporation and you need to submit that to the registrar of companies. Remember that word. Business as a legal entity, we discussed that it's still business tax, so the business has to pay 28% fixed tax. 
think that has actually been reduced now in the last year or so. But for this purposes, you can study 28% and members have to pay their dividend profit uh, or dividend tax on profits, which was at the time of this video was 15%. Now, here's how we recognize if it's a, a public company. It ends with the name LTD. Remember, with a private company, it ended with the letters PTY, proprietary. But here it's just LTD. So make sure you see those small differences. Advantages, there's no limit to the amount of owners or shareholders. Anyone can buy or sell shares on a JC. I can do it right now. You can log off of this video and go and buy and sell shares if you want to. Though it's risky if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. You can get a large amount of capital, but you also have to then share the profit and that large amount to a lot of people. It's unlimited amount of continuity. There's limited liability for shareholders. You can only lose what you've invested into the company, right? But they won't seize your personal assets and you can sell your shares freely on the JSE. Private companies, there's no easy sell um, or free transferability like we see on a public company. And um, because the business or the company is a legal entity, they can enter into contracts in its own name. Disadvantages, if the company fails, it's because it's a big company, there's a large scale of unemployment, which is a negative effect, one of our socioeconomic issues. Currently, uh, we face a 40% average of unemployment in our country, which is very bad. Another thing is because you're a public company and not private, your information is not private anymore. Your uh, competitors have access to it. So it's important to take note that it is um, something that you have to uh, remember or be conscious that whatever you publish, your competitors will see as well because your general public needs to see it if they want to buy and sell shares. That's why you need to make it public. All right, this is forms of ownership in a nutshell. I hope you understand. Make sure you revise the videos if it's um, unclear, but there's a lot of good videos out there as well that you can use for additional learning um, there's a lot of material that you can read up on but i encourage you to understand these topics because it will help you and guide you into what form of ownership you need to use one day all the best see you in the next videos bye